guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, this is Balancing Life with Brie, and today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. I'm gonna show you guys how I make some recipes and then I'm just gonna like talk about what I'm eating. So if you see me like looking off to the side, I'm actually getting my lunch prepared to go back to work. First thing I'm taking back is a Diet Dr. Pepper Cream Soda Zero. These are like the bomb.com. Also, I have no leftovers because last night for dinner I just had a salad, so I don't have like leftover salad, but when I went to the store yesterday, I bought a bunch of salad. So I'm gonna be trying to eat more salads throughout the day. Um, not just like throughout the day, but like throughout the week. So I'm currently making a bagel with cream cheese. I have been loving the Hawaiian bagels from Kroger. And then I just use like the whipped cream cheese. I just spread a little bit of that on there. Sometimes I make like fluffernutter sandwiches, but today I'm just sticking with the plain old whipped cream because I also plan on taking a salad back to work. So I bought a couple flavors of salads. I did a um, like two Caesars, a bacon Caesar, and then this one. This is a avocado ranch. So serving size is a cup, it's 130 calories. So I'm gonna make up a little bowl of this. And then also for like a little sweet snack because I'm going to the gym today, so I wanna make sure I have enough food. I'm going to take some of this Nerdy Nuts Oatmeal Frosted Pie. This is one of Scott's new obsession flavors. Mine's still the Strawberry Fields, but this one's still really good. So I'm gonna take some of this and then I'm gonna pack a couple of these reduced fat vanilla wafers and eat that as a little snack. And yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. It will be a little later, I'll be coming home from the gym. So I will check in with you guys later and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so the first recipe I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video is some creamy bacon chicken ranch pasta. If you have been around for a while, you know this is one of my favorite recipes and it is 10 out of 10 would recommend. So first thing you're going to want to do is spray a large skillet pan with nonstick cooking spray. I just use Pam. Add diced chicken and cook that on medium high heat until the chicken is no longer pink. The recipe says to season it with salt and pepper, but I like to use this buttery garlic seasoning and it's just my jam. It's what I like to use. So after all of your chicken is cooked up, you're going to turn your heat settings up and you're going to stir in one cup of chicken broth. You're also going to stir in one cup of milk or unsweetened almond milk and your ranch seasoning. That's seriously easy peasy lemon squeezy. You're going to let that cook until it comes to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer until the sauce thickens a bit. It will look kind of like watery, but it's not. Once you let the, everything at the end sit for a little while, it does thicken up. So just keep that in mind. So next, after all of that is done, you're going to let it cook until it comes to a boil, reduce to a simmer until that sauce thickens, like I said. You're gonna whisk in your cream cheese and your Greek yogurt until it is completely melted and you're going to remove that from the heat. In the meantime, you're going to make some penne pasta. I just use this Protein Plus penne pasta. It's my jam, it's what I like to use. And then after your pasta is cooked, you just pour that mixture over your cooked penne pasta Add your pre-cooked bacon or center cut bacon. I use pre-cooked bacon like you, that you can get like the bacon bits because it's easier. And that's literally it. This recipe makes eight one and one fourth cup servings. They're three to 10 personal points on WW and 246 calories a serving. Hello, hello guys. It is the next night. Sorry, my dogs are a little crazy. See all those like blankets on the floor right there? I just got home from volleyball and I showered and they had like blankets everywhere. They had a freaking party while I was at sand volleyball, but we won tonight. You know, your girl killed it. Anyway, so tonight I'm going to be making a ground chicken teriyaki or ground turkey teriyaki bowl. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I make that. I am very excited. I'm also getting super excited because I leave for vacation on Saturday and I'm just super hyped about it. So I'm gonna bring you guys down, show you how I make this, give you my review, and I will check in with you guys after I finish. Hey guys, so this is the ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken teriyaki bowl, and it was also very, very good. Look at Rex in the background, he's so cute. Anyway, so 
First thing you're going to want to do is cook up your ground turkey. After you've cooked your turkey, you're gonna add some onions and garlic. You gotta add those onions and garlic to give it a little razzle dazzle. I went ahead and put my onions in first because I use the frozen onions, but if you're using unfrozen onions, I would wait until after your turkey is cooked to do that. Next, you're going to add in some shredded carrot and broccoli. So fun fact, your girl is not a fan of broccoli whatsoever I literally just cannot do it it just reminds me of little trees with bugs on them I just I can't do it so I just added carrots but if you're a broccoli fan go ahead that add that broccoli in there and wham bam thank you ma'am that part first part of this recipe is already done next you're going to make the teriyaki sauce so this is teriyaki sauce made from scratch and it is literally so easy to make all you need for this is a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce, one fourth cup water, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I went ahead and used the monk fruit sugar, but the original recipe calls for granulated sugar. Two teaspoons of minced garlic, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then two tablespoons of warm water. I will say when I made this, the consistency was very, very thin. So I did end up adding another like one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch just to thicken it for my liking, but to each their own, I just needed a little bit more in there. After the sauce is done, you're going to want to go ahead and pour it on top of the ground turkey that you already made. So this recipe, if you make it exactly how it is, I will have it linked in the description box, is 380 calories per serving. Because I used the different kinds of sugar and I didn't use the broccoli, I have to put all that in my balancer app myself. So just so you know, like, always do that. I try to say it every video, but make sure you're always doing that. So after it's all done, I went ahead and put mine over some rice and it was really, really delicious and I would definitely recommend this recipe if you're looking for a quick, easy, healthy meal. Hello guys, it is time for a little vlog, car vlog. So last time I filmed, I had just wrapped up making those turkey bowls which I'm going to be heating up for lunch today when I get home. I actually am working from home today. It's Wednesday, but I had a dentist appointment, so I spent my technical, like, hour lunch at my dentist appointment. So I'm going to be, like, working and eating my lunch when I get back, but that's really, like, no big deal. I'm just doing reports and stuff. So um, I will say there's one thing. I did add scallions at the very end of the recipe and I added a little bit more cornstarch to thicken up my sauce which when I do the voiceover you probably already heard it because I'm just going to tell you guys I did that but yeah so really really good it reminded me a lot a lot a lot of the P.F. Chang lettuce wrap dupes I don't really think I think the only difference is is that the lettuce wraps I'm not sure if they have the brown sugar I know for a fact they don't have like the monk fruit sweetener but I'm not sure about the brown sugar but anyway it was still really good I think when I heat it up for lunch today I'm gonna put a little bit of sriracha on the top to give it a little bit of a kick but I think I'm gonna have that and then a salad for lunch so I'll film lunch I'll show you guys what I'm doing but just wanted to hop on here I do have some things to show you guys that I'm like really excited about so I got some new shoes so for those of you who don't know my birthday is August 16th and since I'll be on vacation with Scott and his family he gave me my birthday present early and he got me a pair of Nike blazers that I wanted so bad I'm going to show you guys I'm actually putting them in my favorites video too you guys get like a sneak peek because I am obsessed with them I love for those of you who don't know I love shoes like I love shoes I love like I don't really I'm not like a brand girl like I don't have to have a specific brand like I'm not like oh I can't wear that because no if it is cute I'll wear it I do not care where it comes from granted I think a lot of the shoes that I do wear are like brands 
but I just like the way they look. Like my Doc Martens are probably my favorite shoes of all time next to these blazers that I currently have on my feet. But anyway, I'm just kind of rambling, but I just wanted to get on here and tell you that dinner was really, really good, super easy. I made it after volleyball last night when I was exhausted and it probably took me like 20, 25 minutes for the entire thing. And I did put that over some rice. So for those of you who have been around for a hot minute, I use just like the boil in a bag rice. I do want to try my Instapot to make rice, but I still have some of the boil in the bags left. So I just use that. So I put that mixture over that and it was super good. So anyway, just a quick little check in. Hi, hello. Just got done with the dentist. I have no cavities. My teeth are clean. But yeah, I'll check with you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so it's dinner time now and oh, look at Rex. Oh. He wanted to join too. He's so cute. <laughs> Don't cover him up. He's so cute. Anyway, so Scotty's here with me and we're going to be making some KFC knockoff bowls. So we're going to show you how we do that, right? Yep, okay. Yeah. We're going to shake them and bake them and we'll show you what it looks like. It's super easy and it'll be done in like 30 minutes. Okay guys, so how to make KFC bowls. They are seriously so easy to make. You can get the popcorn chicken already pre-made from Kroger, but the shake and bake is less points and less calories, just so you guys know. So what I have here is the extra crispy, or I actually think I have the original. I normally do the extra crispy shake and bake, but I didn't have that. And I have a pack of Tyson chicken tenders. So all you do is cut up your chicken tenders, put them in the bag, and then shake what your mama gave you. Like you just shake, 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 put them out. I do like a handful of chicken at a time. I don't put all my chicken in there one time. So yeah, that's all you do. Shake them up, cook them. And that's literally it. It's so easy and they're seriously so good. Okay, just checking in really quick. The chicken has been cooking for 10 minutes. I'm going to flip it, stick it back in for another 10 minutes. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna be making these Bob Evans mashed potatoes. If you want a lower point version, I would do the Trader Joe's mashed potatoes. They're really good, but I have not seen them. So Bob Evans, it is for tonight. Okay, so dinner's officially done. I have my Bob Evans mashed potatoes right here. And I'm going to be adding some chicken. So we add some chicken for me. You can use this, I don't care. Sure. Cute, looks great. So I'm gonna add my chicken and then technically this is for the corn. So I have corn down here as well that I heated up. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That is it. That is the knockoff KFC bowl. You can add gravy, but I'm not a gravy fan. You're not really a gravy fan, are you? Yeah, like, I like it, but I'm not yeah. right without it. So I'm gonna put salt and pepper on this and then we're gonna eat our dinner and it's gonna be great. So I'll have the points and the calories at the bottom of the screen and we're gonna go eat. Hey guys, so, oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've actually had to film anything and it feels kind of weird. So. The video that you guys are obviously watching right now, if you made it this far, thank you, was filmed before my vacation, went on vacation, vacation was amazing. I had a great time, was at the beach every single day, read a bunch of books. If you guys want book recommendations, let me know. Not all of my books are appropriate for all ages, just putting that out there, but I do read like a good amount of books. I think I read like seven on vacation. I read constantly. So vacation was great. I may or may not have a video going up on Sunday because my cousin gets married tomorrow on Saturday and I normally film on Saturday for my Sunday's video or I film on Sunday, but Sunday I'm going to an amusement park with Scott's sister. So probably won't have time to film. I might be able to squeak it out tomorrow we shall see but yeah so thank you if you've gotten this far i hope you guys enjoyed the recipes honestly chicken bacon ranch pasta my fave those turkey teriyaki bowls really really good and kfc bowls you can never go wrong they're so easy and yeah just easy foods that's the way your girl rolls you know what i'm saying but yeah so life's been cool my birthday was great, spent time with my mom before I left, and then I had my birthday while I was on vacation. Scott took me to dinner for my birthday, it was really, really nice. So 
yeah i'm ending this on a car vlog but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like videos like these please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i greatly appreciate it i really appreciate the support and yeah recipes will be linked in the description box and just want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop lock and drop those pounds bye guys Thank you.